from here. Perfect. Hopefully it's all the same, because I tested a few things. Hope it's the same. But anyways, let's load in. You're about to enter the fun house, which I'm going to say is probably a big deal. Probably the motive. I'm guessing here. Or tied to. I think I talked to everyone. I'm gonna click. Mm, let's just see. Like I said, we don't have time to just stand around and stare. Yeah, okay. So we're getting onto the train. I just need to get on this train, right? Well, there's no need to be cautious. It's not like it's going to speed up, drop, fly, or anything else. Oh man, there's such a good ride, and I want to say it's um Bush Gardens because I've only been ever been there once. And Bush Gardens, there's a ride, and I want to say it's the German one, but honestly, I do not remember. And uh, they're like, yeah, there's a drop, and I'm like, I've been on roller coasters, I know about drops, and they're like, no, no, it's different. And we go on, and the whole thing stops. And I'm like, oh, but I don't see any tracks ahead of us. But we're inside a building, so maybe it's just dark. Or false wall, or whatever. But no, the whole thing, and people are like, no, no, don't say it, don't say it. Spoilers, so spoilers. Where it just, instead of continuing on straight, it literally, the whole track dropped to the second level. And then continued. It was so good. It was one of my favorite, like, ride moments. Because it wasn't horrifically scary or like using too much like they mentioned like g-force and uh, it just was unique and different and i wish i could do it again <laughs> i'm not gonna believe you this time so you better be telling the truth all right all right, the, uh, yeah all right let's go as soon as we all stepped on the small train started slowly moving and went inside the dim tunnel. Ladies and gentlemen, this train is heading toward the funhouse! Allow me to guide you all to the world of surprises on this train that runs for glory! Please be careful of where you step. Also, it's dangerous to stand up all of a sudden. Yeah. Well, it's not like you have time to do that. As soon as the white smoke surrounded us, our bodies started to feel soft, like mollus mollusks. Our brains felt like they were starting to melt into a pile of mush and puddle. Does a puddle? Anyways, <laughs> in the end, we lost consciousness. Okay. 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 Hmm. Uh? When I woke up, I was someplace that didn't make sense. It was clearly a place I've never seen before. My sense of reality was still hazy, so I wasn't able to react right away. Where is this? However, when I looked over at Nakamura standing tall in the wide stance, my sense of reality felt even hazier. Man, I slept good. Where are we? What the hell is this? Voices expressing surprise and confusion began to surround me one after another. It seems like the others have started to wake up as well. Why was I sleeping at a place like this? Oh well, I should go back to sleep for a little bit longer. That's 
No, don't. You seriously can't do that. I assume that this is that gas is doing. That gas, we were forced to breathe right after the train started moving. It must have knocked us all out. And then we were brought here, huh? In that case, this must be the interior of the funhouse. I'm so glad we didn't actually not get a funhouse, uh, because I really banked on that. <laughs> um, I called this stream the funhouse, so... Assumed. Assumed. Anyways, also, apparently when I was looking up the funhouse, it's a movie from the 80s. I wonder how good it is. Because I wanted to make sure- I don't- I'm tired, man. I want to make sure everything's cracked because I accidentally used trail instead of trial one time, okay? I mean, there's no way of knowing that this is the inside of the fun house. I mean, he could have literally knocked you out and brought you to a completely different place. I mean, this is the same- I mean, you weren't knocked out, I guess. I was gonna be like, this is the same people that brought you to a different island. Like, you're on a- <laughs> you're on an island versus your school. You know? Welcome, welcome to the strawberry house. Strawberry house. Isn't this the fun house? Of course it's the fun house. Strawberry house is part of the fun house. A, a part, you say? Allow me to now then, allow me to explain already. Oh god, this is gonna be information. Oh, okay. Big brain. Okay. Okay. Ta-da, this is strawberry house. In its in its <laughs> entirety. You're currently at the indoor park located at the third floor on the third floor. See, that's what I'm saying. Like we're not even on floor level. Like he clearly carried us somewhere. If we're not on the ground level. So it's like clearly. He could have brought us anywhere. <laughs> You're currently at the um at the inside or yeah, indoor park located on the third floor. As you see, there's a lots of Playground equipment with strawberry designs. How fancy. Now then, next to the second floor, there's a lounge that's perfect perfect and for refresh er, blah, 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 blah. There's a lounge that's perfect for refreshing up, and I've prepared five guest rooms. Isn't there more than five people? <laughs> Pretty sure. I prepared five guest rooms that lined up like boom. The guest rooms are divided up by quality grade. The deluxe room is a soundproof and excellent air installation. We're gonna this is gonna something is gonna be important. Okay. In the standard room okay, yeah, this is definitely gonna be important. The standard room may all have so so installation, but it's still pretty decent. And the crummy room. Why would you even make a crummy room? Monogumma, why? And the crummy room has severe airflow and draft problems. I mean, aren't we inside? Doesn't it- does it really matter if it's not perfectly insulated if we're inside? Like, everything's inside. Does it matter? That concludes- er, that concludes my explanation of the second floor. Last but not least, the first floor of the Strawberry House. Okay, is there gonna be other houses? <laughs> On this floor, there's a room called the Final Dead Room. Okay, now that is gonna be important. <laughs> the Final Dead Room. That's all like boom. You can enter the final dead room at any time. Can I enter it at any time? <laughs> or is that going to be off limits? But be extremely cautious. I mean, it doesn't sound good. You know, final dead. Is the final person going to be dead in that room? Is that going to be like the last death in the final dead room? Like, is the game going to be kind of. Not self-aware, but like, is the game going to line up like that? I don't know. But be extra cautious when you pick the difficulty. When you pick the difficulty setting. Oh, okay. So maybe it is a little. Also, <laughs> pointing out a little meta thing. I wonder what the hardest one. Is. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder what that is. On the same floor, I'm mean, because I'm assuming to change the difficulty of your game. You change the difficulty of whatever is in there. That game. I guess, game, whatever it is in there, which is interesting. Okay. Okay, maybe it's like the final trial kind of situation. Anyways, 
On the same floor, there's a hallway called the Strawberry Hall, and you pass through it, and there's a truly strange, enormous tower standing tall with a boom boom. It's called Strawberry Tower. Please use your own two feet and get a feel for what the inside of Strawberry Tower is like. Okay. That concludes the tour, but I think it was difficult to understand with my wor wordy explanation. So you should use all you, uh, you should use, um, you should all use your own two feet to explore the inside of the building. That's all for me. Any questions? Hey, hey, hey. hey we have questions, obviously. Really? Really? What's your question? Really? To bring us to a place like this, what are you planning to make us do with the or do this time? That, that's right. I have a lot of questions, but let's start with that one first. Didn't I explain it to you? This is the motive this time. Ah, there it is. There it is. Because I was like, hmm, but I figured in the fun house there's going to be a motive. I didn't think it was going to go like this, but I thought something about unlocking all the other things like the boat parts or my the class history and maybe more about who the trader you know like different random things i thought there was going to be in it and then one person wanted it and killed someone for it but this works too i guess <laughs> but this no 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 we're gonna say this could be the final death but it couldn't be because we're only on chapter four this is the motive this time. An escape game. Ooh, escape game? <laughs> Can we actually- is it a actual game? I'm assuming not. I'm assuming it's just gonna be a story. Which is fine. <laughs> Which is what this game is. It is a story-based game. <laughs> An escape game. A escape game? The concept this time is a closed circle within a closed circle. Okay. Like Hope Street Academy back then. It was fun. Ah. Okay, so like, this is a building which we're in. I mean, it's the same thing with the island, but I'm guessing it's it's more closed. Got it. Than like multiple build or multiple islands. Like Hope Street Academy back then. This fun house is a completely closed space. Like uh, the first game. So they are pointing out a little meta details, like, not meta, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. There's only one way to get out of the closed space of building. When the killing begins, I'll let you guys out when the next killing happens. Let the escape game begin. Mm -hmm. Ooh, what? Okay, you voice that line, is fine. He voiced that line too. We can't get out of here till the next killing happens. I knew this was a trap, but I never expected it to be so straightforward. If only I erected a magic barrier, I could have had, or I, I wouldn't have had to breathe in that gas. Don't you have a scarf? You know, like you could have just. Stop. I think that was in maybe a new face for uh, Gundam as well, but it's hard for me to tell because I'm looking down and not at their faces for most of this. I'm looking right at the words <laughs> for most of this, though. So that might have been a new face, I don't know. I let my guard down and end up falling asleep? Like, why would a gas even work on a robot that's supposed to be like, or it's supposed to be when you make your move? Guess wouldn't have posed a problem, but if they activated my sleep mode, and or yeah, if they activated my sleep mode, even I wouldn't stand a chance. Huh? Sleep mode? Oh. That's right. It's a cutting edge function that puts my other functions to sleep, even if I have insomnia. Just press the good night button on the back of my neck, and I'll be forced to enter sleep mode. Okay, this is also important. What? What's the point of that function? 
didn't I just tell you? It puts my other functions to sleep even if I have like, insomnia. Hey, hey. Do you even need to sleep? In order to be awake, for or order to um, in order to wait, <laughs> in order to awaken from sleep mode, I just need to set the alarm in my chest. That's all. Oh, okay, that's all possible with just one touch. Jeez. Damn it, he's not even listening. He probably wants to live like humans. As such, he can, or er, as much as he can. Since, er, such is the sad nature of robotic organisms. Yeah. At any rate, Monokuma sure stuffed him with a lot of useless features. They're all gonna come in handy. They're, every single one of them is gonna be a thing, isn't it? Every single one. Anyways, Mekumaru must have lost consciousness because his button was pressed. Yeah. What button? Who, like, who did it? <laughs> who pressed the button? What a blunder. He must have taken advantage of that white smoke and went around me. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'll never let that happen ever again. Oh, that's gonna happen again. Oh, he's gonna be put to sleep. For now, why don't we look for an exit? For that exit. I feel like there it's... Oof, I don't think we're gonna just find an exit. <laughs> exit? Is there even or is there even an exit? I mean, if there was, this wouldn't be a closed space, right? It'd be or it'd make Monokuma's motive meaningless. Dumbass. Why don't we just break a wall? Nakamaru could probably break a wall. Go to the first floor, punch a wall. Easy. What are you whoa, what are you giving up for, dumbass? If we were brought inside this space, then there's definitely an exit somewhere. Amazing. Amazing. A heart that refuses to give up until the very end. That must be hope. <laughs> yes, I understand. Then let's explore the inside of this building with what map we've got. With that map we got. Well? We have a map? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ma I guess Monokuma did literally show us a map. But exploring on our own is too dangerous. It might be better if we team up with someone. Damn right. Then Akane, you come with me. Oh, that's an unusual combo. <laughs> Could this guy be... Huh? It's nothing like that, idiot. It's just something I want to talk to her about. Is it going to be something about Akane, um, and Nekamaru, and him... Paco and Paco. I don't mind, whatever. Whatever's fine. Whoa, when you two stand right next to each other, there's a notable height difference. Uh, um, there we are. 5'7, okay. Okay, what, six inches? Fair. Dr drop it, bastard. You. Hey, if you're gonna- or if we're gonna get going, let's hurry up and go. Right. Alright, then, we'll- are they next to each other in the trials? I don't know. Alright, then, we'll go on ahead first. With those parting words, the two of them left the area. Well, Miss Sonia, I guess we've got time, or I guess it's time we also. Sonia already left with Gundam. Oh huh? Ah, oh, you got dumped. I mean, he was never, he was never with Sonia. It was kind of just him pursuing her. Idiot! I I didn't get dumped. Why would I get dumped? In fact, I'm really popular. That's obviously not true. Yeah, I think people don't like Soda. Which is funny to me, I I mean, he doesn't, I guess, he's kind of just, his main personality trait is being into Sonia. Now then. now then, I think it's time for me to get going too, so, Chucky, would you like to go together? Huh? Me? Yep. 
I haven't had, um, I hadn't really had a chance to talk to you, so I thought this would be a great opportunity. For now. Then, take me with you, too. Three people is okay, right? Huh? Huh? That's fine, but... Oh, I guess it. Kazuichi's just trying to avoid Hajime, which is exactly why he left him not paired up. <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? Avoid Hajime. It's nothing like that. What What do you mean? Well, Call it a hunch, but maybe Kazuichi can't stop thinking about it. You know? The possibility that you're the traitor. What? I, I was just... I just said what Kazuichi was feeling. I mean, well, you know... The truth is, we don't know anything about you, so it's not my fault if I don't trust you. That... Or, what does that mean? I've, we've been together this whole time, and you still don't know who I am. That's obviously wrong. Like, that matters. It's not like I know the real you. Just like how we didn't know anything about Mekon. We don't know anything about each, anyone here. We all don't know. We all... I don't know anything. <laughs> the real me. And only reason we're here is because you, because you were the one who suggested we go to the fun house, right? No, Monikuma told us to. Oh wait, no, because I wanted it. Ch uh, yeah, Chalky wanted stuff too. So did you. Are you saying I lured you guys here? Why would I do that? It's not the uh, it's not that far fetched, you know. I'm sorry, Hajime. I really do want to trust you, but I just can't yet. That's why I'm going with Chaki. It's not like I want to go with Nagito either, but you're saying Nagito is more trustworthy than me. What the hell? Damn it. What did- why did this happen? I mean, maybe you should point out that he only feels distrust for me because of Nagito, but you know, that's fine. If that's the case, um, it is what it is. Why don't you come along with us, Kazuichi? Mm. Hmm, but... It's fine, Chucky. Just go. Yep. Got it. I'll see you later. With that, Kazuichi, Chucky, and Nagito all left together to explore the area. So I want to say at this point, um, I do wonder with Kazuichi here because my sibling said that they couldn't befriend him all the way at the very beginning of the game. I wonder if you can't befriend him all the way until now. That would be really a long time for you not to be able to finish off Kazuichi's story, but I do wonder if you just can't finish his story until after this or during this, because that's... I mean, I still haven't hung out with Fuyihiko, but, like, the idea that Fuhiko and Kazuichi are unplayable until this point is... is uh, it's interesting. It also is very telling that, like, we knew Kazuichi wouldn't have been killed or been the killer for, I think it was the first chunk that she told me that she couldn't finish his, um, thing. His, his hope fragments. So, I wonder how... Like, if you just kept checking on it. You know he's spying that chapter because you can't have him die unless he finishes all his fragments. So, we knew that. I also, so I knew that for the first one. Anyways. So I wonder if it's because if you are full friendship with him, this wouldn't really make sense, so they just left it. Like one, one panel open. I guess we're the leftovers. Looks like we're not very well liked. No, I haven't seen any art of this. I, to my knowledge, to my knowledge, maybe I have. It's not like, com or it's, uh, it's not like complaining about it will change anything. We're just a traitor and a robot after all. I'm not the traitor. Oh, that's right. My apologies. Well then, Hajime. Let's see. 
Let's show everyone else the value in leftovers. Let's, magnifi er, let's magnificently find the exit with our very own hands. If we do that, it will solve everything. When people stop trusting you, it seriously sucks. Okay. Will he say the same thing again? Yeah, okay. Wait, was that different? <laughs> Let's magnificently find the exit with our own hands. If we do that, it'll solve everything. Yeah, okay. We got a little... Like, why is it so hard on my eyes? <laughs> Very bright. Yeah. It's, oof, it's blinding. Alright. I hope the rest of it isn't as blinding. Okay. Slide. Monikuma said that this open area is apparently an indoor park. As expected, the straw uh, of Strawberry House, the playground equipment scattered around has a strawberry theme. Of course, I'm not. Is it a strawberry theme or is it just pink? <laughs> I'm not a kid who'd be amused by something like this. Besides, I don't have time to play anyways. Oh man, I remember it was only a, few, a handful of times, but there was this amazing um, playground when I was younger that was in all wood, and it was like, I think it was pirate themed, so it was like a giant boat, and everything was part of this giant boat. It was great. It was next to a church, but. We didn't go very often, we went like twice ever, so. Besides, I don't have to, time to play anyway. I don't know man, I like a good swing, just swing it on a swing, you know? It's a fan scammer. So the Future Foundation is watching us from the other side of this camera. Damn it. Enough already, how much longer are you going, or are you planning to keep us on this island? At least for one more kill. <laughs> Is a monitor using the communication with us? With the future foundation behind this, the fact that Monokuma uses the screens means he's their ally. Do we know they're using the, th the screens? Monomi, Monokuma, the future foundation. They're all our enemies. There's a lot of different types of flowers blooming in the air in the little in the garden. Yeah, I'm definitely would be hanging out here. I love sunflowers. We had sunflowers for a um, bouquet for my sibling because my sibling loves uh, sunflowers, and we had um, the, the, the sunflowery part, the, the the middle where I guess it gets pollinated, has this like really thick, goopy. Um, thing, but we had ant problems, so apparently that attracts a lot of ants, so we had to be very, very careful not to get ants. Anyways, <laughs> I love flowers so much. There are a lot of different types of flowers blooming in the, in the garden. Looks like these are sunflowers, but I guess there aren't any strawberries. That is weird, I guess. I would eat, oh, I would love some stra fresh strawberries, though. I should get a garden. Yeah. I needed to give my dog medicine, but apparently my sibling did. Oh, no matter where I look, the area is decorated with strawberry patterns. I don't hate strawberries, but if these patterns continue, I might start to get sick of them. I'm already sick of them. <laughs> They're very painful. According to Monokuma's map, the only thing on the third floor is the park we're currently at. Then, it looks like I don't have any business in the, on this floor. <laughs> Just so you know, uh, Hajime. My, my brain. Just so you know, Hajime. Let me know whenever you're feeling thirsty. Is he talking about his soda fountain? I don't really want to drink anything that comes out of his eyes. I mean... Oh! Oh, oh whoa! Whoa... Oh... Okay. Oh, 
Okay. I don't get why there are little thingies on top of bars like this. Like, um... There's one with, like, birds on top. I don't know. I always expected to light up. Okay. Yes. Okay. I think I found three so far, so there's two more. Okay. I don't get it. There's not much happening, but there's, like, a lot happening. <laughs> and what, are you thirsty? No, I'm fine. I see. If you get thirsty, let me know. It looks like he really wants to use his soda feature. I'll take a soda from him. Okay. See, it's like... Not a lot of actual physical stuff. Like, two benches and a thing, and him, and that's it. But, god, these walls! Okay. Okay, I don't have to do anything, it just goes. According to the map, there should be a guest room and lounge on the second floor. Alright, oh, I shall explore the guest rooms. The lounge is all yours. It's all you. Yeah, got it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. Wait, wait, it's continuing. Is this the lounge? Is this it? Am I wrong? Oh wait, no, this is the lounge. Oh. Okay, so this is just the hallway, like, of the school. Okay. I'm assuming I can't go in because he said he's going to do it. So this is like entering a room. Okay, okay. Hmm. So this is the lounge. This is also completely covered in strawberries. Yeah, this is also completely covered in strawberries. It's going to be difficult to relax. And I wish they were just stationary strawberries. Why do they have to move? Just stationary Strawberries. <laughs> okay. It's going to be difficult to re relax in here. I guess for now I should look for things I might be able to use. Okay, well, what's this guy? There's an old portrait hanging on the wall. Why would there be a portrait in a place like this? It seems very out of place. Also, the placard on this portrait. Oh! Uh, Hope Shake Academy's founder, Izuru Kamakara. Kamakara. Izuru. Do I know an Izuru? Why does that. Do we ever mention him before? Why would a portrait of someone as important as the founder of Hope Shake Academy be in a place like this? Also, this name. It's so hard to pronounce. Is it? Eh, I mean, I fumbled on it, but why is it so high up? Why can't it be here? Why is it all the way up there? No, like, <laughs> don't know what's just in this. I don't know what's odd or what's information. Hmm. There's a telephone. The fact that there's a phone in this building is clearly suspicious. Will I be able to call somewhere with this? There's one button. When I walked towards the phone, or telephone, I immediately noticed it. What's this? Instead of number, yeah. instead of numbered buttons, there's just one single button with a grape image on it. But why grapes? Just why not strawberries? I'm assuming there's going to be multiple different fruit. I guess, some multiple different fruit buildings, halls, like different, uh, I guess not levels, because there are multiple levels in this anyways. But why, uh, yeah. Well, for now, I'll give it a press. It sounds like it's connecting to somewhere, but no one's picking up. What? What a mysterious device. It may be used for summon for summoning rituals. Novice shouldn't be careless shouldn't carelessly touch it. 
it's probably not that dangerous. Aside from that button, it looks like any other regular phone. But it doesn't work like a normal telephone. And I don't even know, or I don't even know where it's connecting to. Jeez, what's going on? My four dark days of destruction are investigating the area, but it seems there's nothing to note of, or no, of note to report. Why have you given up? There may still be something on this floor we have not searched yet. Yeah, you're right. It's still too early to give up. Good. I'll leave this matter to your discretion. Alright, I should try exploring the first floor I haven't seen yet. Thanks to the wall clock, I know what time it is, but knowing the time isn't going to help things, it is, because he had a clock in his chest and it was brought up twice now. So it's going to help. Something about him sleeping and the clock. Big helps. Okay. Uh, I don't think I need to click the camera and stuff again. Oh wait, no, no, no. I actually want to talk to them individually. How meaningless to think this savage tone would confuse me. I have waited for you. Invaded Black Dragon. Chump... Chumpy? <laughs> Jumpy, exert your strength to your heart's content. I shall wait upon Chumpy. Champy? Returns with his report. He has such skillful control over his hamsters. He might really be able to communicate with them. I think I maybe should have clicked him first and then clicked the phone. This place is supposed to be a lounge. But it seems I may not be able to calm myself and relax in here. Seriously, I just thought the amusement park was in a big in, in bad taste, but this is even worse. Right. I agree, Monikum is a centric taste, which shock even Is that Insensitive for Sonia to say. <laughs> Feels like I wouldn't have said it like that. What the? Is she? Is she racist? Okay, I'm gonna head back out. I'm gonna not deal with that. Why are you standing around here? Weren't you going to check out the guest rooms? Well, it seems that the standard room over there is already occupied. Occupied. I should go explore another another place first. Oh, we can go into the rooms. I thought I'd get kicked out. Oh. Boy. Now this is a room. Okay. Okay, this looks like a fireplace. And a picture. And... Strawberries on the surveillance camera. And a rainbow. What is this? What is this? What is it? I, I don't know. Oh, all I have is a monitor. That's it? That's... All of it? Okay. Nothing else to note? At all? Okay. It's a surveillance camera. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're not gonna mention that the surveillance camera has bows on it. No? Now that's a look, though. That's a room. Okay. So I was in here. Assuming they're all gonna be empty. But... Monokuma may be around. Hmm. I mean, what, this isn't important? This look, this iconic look right here isn't important? Like, low-key, high-key going to 
give my sister this as a present, the skull with the lollipops in it, like, what, not important? Okay. However, I never expected we'd lose three people during my absence. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Hayako and Ibuki. Those two were quite the noisy bunch. It's as if a fire was smothered. And I can't believe Mikon was the one who murdered them. Th that's why, no matter what shape you're in, we're all extremely happy you came back to us. Besides... Sonia, was it? Does she need a time to adjust? I mean, that doesn't mean she's not happy. <laughs> then, I must live up to everyone's expectations. As long as I'm here, I will not tolerate any more victims. I won't allow it. See, people say that and then they die. You know? Did Mikan say that? Maybe they say it and then they get their killer, so... I don't think anything's in there. I'm so scared I'm gonna miss the Monokuma because... They said that they- oh wait, this was important. I can hear voices inside. Sounds like someone's in there. You just walk in and... Burn up, burn up, burn up. <gasps> I see him. Hey, hey. hey what do you want to talk about? Well, y you know... I'm sure you don't want to hear this since... I caused a similar accident. I already know that a guy like me has no right to say this to you, but... But when I look up to you, I just have to say something. When I look at you, I have to say something. What? Then spit it out. Hey. You don't have to act so stubborn, you know? Because I know what you're going through. Huh? Oh. The only reason you're standing here, er, standing here right now is because someone sacrificed himself for you. You feel guilty about that, isn't that right? Like... Hey, what are you talking about? So, you don't want to be honest about it, huh? Well, I understand that feeling too. Yeah. Seriously, what the hell are you talking about? Oh. But like he said, it's better just to be alive. Might hurt to look at his painful uh, appearance right now. But you're so much better off because at least he's still alive. I mean... For me... S sorry Huh? Huh? Are you crying? I'm... Did we see him crying? I didn't notice. <laughs> I didn't see it. Right now, I feel very grateful to her. But I can't tell her that anymore. No. But you're different, so... I like how we're bringing previous cases into now cases. It's not just like, oh, they're done, we're over it. But I'm it's like, no, no, it's, it's still he weighing heavy on his heart. So, you're different. Or, but you're different, so... Huh. Make sure you tell him how grateful you are. Huh? Wait, so... What are you trying to say again? I quietly left the guest room so they wouldn't notice me. I just imagine walking fully into a room and the, they just did not notice. Fuhiko took the time to talk to her, but it looks like Hane didn't really understand the conversation. Got a bad feeling about somebody in that situation. You. Oh, the TV's even broken. The monitor's sad. Okay, what's in here? There's, there's really nothing in these rooms. Okay. Okay. But the fuchsia, the black, and the like pink are uh, extremely. I can't remember. I can't think of what aesthetic, but it's very aesthetic. <laughs> um, I know it's supposed to be a crap. A crappy? Crummy. It's a crummy. A crummy room, but. Oh, wait, does this guy just walking? Wait. Okay. Soon, my little baby. I'm gonna get bad gifts. I'm not gonna get any gifts from them, am I? I'm 
I wonder if it's the worst you can get, because there's three more. Um... The spares I could've got. Anyways, what? I don't know where the last Monokuma would be. I saw- I thought it would be in one of these rooms, but since there's already one in the standard room, I'm assuming not. I'm assuming I'm supposed to go down to the first floor. I kinda wanna see if I can talk to them. It might be better if I don't go in there right now. I just get in the way of their conversation. Yeah. So we can actually walk up and down the stairs. So it's all like loaded in more in one go instead of the host academy, which each floor loaded and then different chunks. Like you walk down the stairs in this instead of going to black. There wasn't anything, right? Yeah. There wasn't anything terribly important on the third floor or the second floor, but it doesn't mean there's nothing here. I should look around thoroughly. My man, weren't you upstairs? <gasps> a clown. The final dead. Oh, the final dead room's a clown. Okay. Okay. This building in, uh, is particular. Look at the inside of this bathroom. I can't take a peaceful shit like this. Preventing me from taking good shit. This house is clearly defective. Okay, yeah, let me look. Looks like this is a bathroom. Every time I see a bathroom, I get this lowly feeling. When in the world is my... I don't think you can? Anymore, you're a robot. Conservation going to be fixed. So, your previously, your previous state. Wow, he's tall. Was he always this big or is he even bigger now that he's a robot? I can't remember. I don't remember when I stood next to him last. Um, can't walk in there. Yeah, okay. It's a wall clock. A wall clock above the bathroom door. Jeez, what kind of placement is that? True. A giant strawberry. See, this is better. Oh no, they're moving. I was gonna be like, it's better because they're solid, 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 stationary. But nope, they're moving. I just didn't notice. Oh, hi, buddy. What's over here? Oh, turn. Is <laughs> that's hilarious? They just added a little animation just because there's nothing here. I guess. Okay. <laughs> Everyone is a symbol of hope. They're all completely different compared to the qu the qu the the quitter like me. Terribly sorry that someone like me is forced to be with someone like this. Everyone like this. <laughs> Not just someone. I love that- why? Why? Why have this corner? Just have it end right there. I guess to make it feel bigger. Whoa. Anyways. Uh, sure. Kazuichi. Hmm? Is there anything you want to say to me? No, no. Nothing. The possibility isn't zero. I, I do think that it's extremely close to zero, but it's never going to be zero, no matter what. I'm sorry, Hajime. Okay. What's this, an elevator? I took all the stairs. There's an elevator right there. What happened? Did you get tired again? Nope. No, I was just thinking. My strawberry. Hmm? Why is that? Mm. Personally, I think tangerines are totally fine too, but even fruits like peaches and apples 
Yeah, any of those fruits would have been fine. Hey, hey. Then, why strawberry? Who knows? Yep. Such a mystery. Is there actually going to be something tied to it being a strawberry? Yeah. What has this conversation- or what was that conversation just now? I do. I, 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 I don't- I, what- is there a reason there's strawberries? <laughs> uh, okay, so I can't go in the bathroom. Uh, ooh, um, uh, final dead because clowns. This door. Looks like it gives off a different vibe compared to everything else. The final dead room. The final dead room is a challenge given to you by the headmaster, Monokuma. Only those who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the octagon, the fable holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. See, sometimes when we say ultimate blank, usually it's a person. So is the ultimate weapon like an actual student or... <laughs> That they're just alone for this whole time. Now then, if we're feeling heroic and you're or if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. Life threatening game? What what the hell is that? Did he just say I can obtain the ultimate weapon if I win? How stupid. How the hell er who the hell is gonna do that? Uh, I feel like somebody, or multiple people, are going to do that. Okay, so that's a no-go. Hmm? Isn't this an elevator? But that's weird. The only stairs are between this building's second and third floor. Does this mean there's a basement? There's a button next to the door. A grape image. This is the same as the button on the lounge telephone. What? What will happen if I press this? And so, without really thinking about it, I tried pressing the button, but... It's not reacting at all. Is it out of order? I don't really get it, but... It looks like this elevator is unusable. What is it, Hajime? Did you find something? The final dead room- I was like, why am I keep getting paired up with, uh, Nekamaru? And I forgot that we were buddies. We were supposed to stay together. That final dead room place sounds suspicious, but going inside might be a er, sound yeah, sounds suspicious, but going inside might be a little dangerous. Monokuma did mention a life threatening game. But not for you, my buddy. You wanna go in there? You wanna risk it, huh? You you know, you bazooka couldn't even kill ya. Mon uh Monokuma did mention a life threatening game. It's not even worth playing if all you get after winning is a weapon. Did I mention you get a weapon? Now then, the other should be at Strawberry Tower, the far back of Strawberry Hall. Then, er, who was speaking? I don't remember. Let's get going already. But everyone's right here. <laughs> not everyone, but... Oh, I thought I had to click it, but I just actively walk. Oh, 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 that's so, I didn't realize it was going to be like that. I thought this was like a, a completely, like, I thought I had to click into it. Oh, okay. You know, this isn't bad. This is all it there. This is the, the, the strawberries on this wall. This is good. This is nice. This is good. Strawberry hall door. According to the map, strawberry tower is on the other side of this door. Huh? There's no doorknob. There's no way we can open the door like this. Maybe you just have to press the button that's next to the door. You know, the one that has, has open written on it? I wonder what that means. It's funny, it's spelled just like the word open. I, wait, seriously? Anyways, I just have to press this button then? Monokuma raised his arm and and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. Oh. Oh. 
interesting. You know, this one time when I was um, element, not elementary, like early high school, um, I was at a, a school thing, blah, 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 and pretty much we stayed in a dorm and we had to walk to different areas, so in the real city. And uh, there was a button, and I was hungry, okay? <laughs> um, so I clicked like the to walk button. But the thing is, it didn't make any indication that it pressed, so my friend was like, press it again. So I, to make emphasis, because they didn't believe that I pressed it, I pressed it a bunch of times. And I just remember a slightly older, um, like probably college or early or older high school, drove by in a convertible. And he's like, press it again one more time, I bet you it would work. And he just drove off because he was turning, so he didn't have to stop. And just a group of people just thought it was so funny, so I pressed it again. And right when I pressed it again, it worked. Anyways, it was so funny to me that it was so perfectly timed that it all lined up. It was great. Anyways. That was, I don't know why. You know when, like, just just something happens with a stranger and it just sticks with you? Just most random situation. It wasn't anything. It wasn't the most hilarious thing. It just worked, and it stuck with me since then. That and the graveyard around there, because it used to be a graveyard in one area, and it was a pretty big graveyard. But then they needed, um a bigger park for the city so they actually moved all the grave like above ground things they moved all of that over but they flattened it and put grass and they changed the park with the grave and the grave site with the park so now it was smaller close together grave sites but the bodies and everything underground was still underneath the park so all the park like all these kids i remember the the, the person walking with us around the town was like and there's all those kids all of it six feet underground there's a bunch of coffins and all the dead bodies and there's uh, the mausoleums no is a mausoleum where uh, you have to cremate the the body bodies you put in a bag and then it drops underground so um all of that all of the bags of bones that's not ba bags of dust <laughs> All the bodies, all of it, was underneath the park because they couldn't move all the bodies, so they just all underneath it, all the bodies. And then the grave site was technically all the stones, but none of the bodies. So yeah, fun fact. Those are the two things I remember the most from that. Anyways, so this is Strawberry Tower, huh? And the building is shaped like a huge circle. Plus, the ceiling is so high, I can't really make it out. That's how high it is. Okay. Jeez. More of these bright red decorations. What terrible taste. Well, with a name like Strawberry Tower, I guess the terrible decorations are intentional. No, these walls are fine. These walls are better. That's right. This is Strawberry Tower, right? Then why... Why do I see something that doesn't match the strawberry theme at all? If you're gonna say the grave door, I'm gonna lose it because clearly that leads <laughs> to another area. Maybe grape themed? <laughs> okay. I can make out it. Like, there's a little dotted line right there. Can you guys can. I don't know if you guys can see that. Anyways, what's weird is that it's. Monomi. Actually, this isn't even Monomi. This is Sami. So did Sami make the fun house? But why? There's a photo on the door. What? On the floor. <laughs> There's a photo on the floor. It's Usami's face. She has a strawberry in her mouth. Even this is strawberry themed, huh? Well, at least it's not an illustration of Monokuma. No, that's what confuses me. This is such terrible taste. Well, if Monokuma did the decorating, it's a given that the place would have terrible taste. Yeah. There's a huge door at the far back of the tower, but there's a great grape image on it. 
I thought this is Strawberry Tower. Wait, this image doesn't or doesn't it match the one in the lounge room? Also, the one we found near the near the first floor elevator. Perhaps this door might be the exit. Huh? Exit? Take a look at the map we uh we received from Monokuma. There's a door at the far back of the Strawberry Tower, but nothing is drawn on the other side of that door. Now, doesn't it mean that the exit is on the other side of this door? Therefore, are we using big words? Therefore, we must try to confirm it by opening this door. Nagamaru let out a battle cry, grabbed the doorknob tightly with both hands, and attempted to pry the door open. But what if it just flung open? Just, a just like, ah, just try it nicely. Man, what was it? Oh man, I just remember somebody was about to, like, in a TV show. It was so funny. Somebody was trying to break in a door, so they were, like, revved up to kick the door in. And they are like, no, 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 wait. And then they just opened the door. It was, like, unlocked, and they just and flung it open. It was so funny, because it was like, yeah, have you tried just opening it? We don't know it's locked. And attempting to pry the door open. However... Huh? What does this mean? The doorknob won't budge. Not even one bit. Is it locked? Well, shit, it appears to be locked tight. In that case, I shall use my full power. With a fierce roar, Nagamaru put all his power into grabbing the doorknob with both hands. But... Even he can't open the door? Not yet. Here comes the ultimate strength of one million horsepower. Dang, it really can't open? <laughs> Wait, is, is it cracking? Creaking? <laughs> if you break off the doorknob, we'll be stuck in there, in here. What about the door we just came from? That would be bad. So, shouldn't we discuss this with everyone else first before you attempt to f force your way through? You have a point. Very well then. Even though the door would have opened soon, I'll give it a rest. Then, let's get back to Strawberry House and discuss this with everyone. With everyone. If they'll listen to what I have to say, that is. Okay, well, are you going to say the horrible taste again? Don't look down on this body's strength. Just a little bit more. I'll have that, this door open. Okay. I'm terrified I'm going to skip a Monokuma, but I think we're good. I mean, there's the one that I didn't grab, and I think there would be one more after that. Hmm. Is this just me, or does it seem rowdy by the elevator over there? Did something happen? Do 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 do. Oh! Whoa, Manikuma. What you doing? He's glaring at the bathroom with an eye full of abnormal malice. Is he really that upset that he can't take a shit? Oh, we zoomed right into his crotch. What do you mean? I was waiting for you, you know? Huh? Why are you waiting for me? Monokuma said he'll be presenting something when everyone is here. Monokuma said that? Okay, so I want to click Monokuma last. Oh, <gasps> level up. Well? Apparently, Monokuma has something to say. But he's not telling us until everyone's together. It's probably something terrible, again. Mm. Terrible? It'd be much better if it was, uh, it was just terrible. Um. Hajime, were you safe? Hi. Apparently Manakuma has something to say, but I have an odd feeling about this. I only have a bad feeling about this. Uh, where were you, I swear? Making an overlord wait very well, but this won't happen a second time. Okay. Oop, I went too far. Did you tell Akane what you wanted to say? Damn right. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure she didn't want to hear it, but I'm the only person who could say it. Apparently, Monokuma has something to say. He doesn't like me. Yes, I did make it here. Kazuichi hates me. <laughs> Is Fuhiko alright? I think he was trying to flirt with me. You think that was flirting? Uh, I think I talked to everyone. I love clowns though, so I kind of really want to know what's on the other side of that door. Yo, what are you guys doing? Were you able to get a general idea of Strawberry House's side? Huh? Strawberry House's side? That's a strange thing to say. It sounds like there are other buildings. Maybe a grape. No, of course there's a grape. That's why there's er uh, that's why there's this thing called a contract elevator. Con contact <laughs> contract. Contact elevator, you say. Hey, hey. Even though it's an elevator, it's a big mistake to think it moves vertically. Fun fact, I got taught vertical and horizontal the wrong way. So for years I have to try to overcome which way each was. How did you Maybe the grape button on the other- on the door in here? Or the grape on the telephone? Or the grape on the, uh, door in the- <laughs> in the strawberry, uh, tower? I was gonna say hall, but it's a tower. Even though there's- oh yeah. I wonder is- I'm assuming, because when I first played the uh, first part of this game, somebody said that- oh, I, first part- I have no idea when this happened. One of the first parts of the game, someone said the, uh, later on doesn't look as great. Wonder if this is what they're talking about. I, uh, there's a lot going on. Very bright. <laughs> um, this is an elevator that travels along a rail. So even though, uh, moving horizontally is easy as, er, so even, so even moving horizontally is easy as pie. Then, does this elevator go to a different building? Yep. That's right, to Grape House. I was right. Mm. Huh? Grape House. Hey, um... The fun house is an enormous building that's made up of other buildings. The fun house. Okay. I kind of thought there would be more. So yeah, other buildings. So I do wonder how many buildings there are. See ya later. Well, we can. Er, well, we can worry about the details when we get to Grape House. I'll be- I'll go on- blah 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 blah. I'll be going on ahead. I don't really get it, but he just wanted to tell us to go to Grape House this time, right? And that we must ride the elevator, right? So, or what- what should we do? Ha, huh, we have- or we just have to go for it. The only way we can overcome the situation is to make a move. I mean... But still, you know... What? You scared? Of course not. Oh, hell no. You're... Or, why are you saying that in front of Miss Sonia? Fine. I'll fucking go. I'm, I'm not scared at all. Well, I don't have... Or, I don't have it as bad as a Kazuichi, but... I do have a bad feeling about this. Well, last time we all gathered together in one place and went somewhere Monokuma wanted, we all got passed out. We all got... Drugged? Not drugged. Kind of... We all got forced to be passed out, so... Yeah, maybe? Maybe not a great situation to go into an elevator together? But... We can't just stay here and do nothing. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I don't understand though. There's a corner for the fun house that... Just when you go into it, it just says turn around, which is very funny to me. So I don't know if they just made a big hall and wanted to fill every corner, but there's like a lot of empty space, and then the walls are doing a lot. <laughs> so I, 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 it's it's a lot. <laughs> but okay, let's continue. When I press the button, the when I press the great button next to the door, it immediately opened. We stepped into the elevator, and off we went to Grape House. 
is it gone? Oh, it's a cute elevator. Oh, oh. Okay, there's only two buttons, so it only goes to grape and strawberry. And the strawberry side is red, and the grape side is green and blue, and it's really cute. This is cute. I like this elevator. Is this already moving? If so, it'd be awesome. I mean, it's not vibrating at, vibrating at all, right? It's probably a really high performance elevator. It's not vibrating all that much. Maybe it's not actually moving? Alright, let's open the door and make sure- do we click the button? <laughs> and make sure. You must not! Must not! This is too dangerous! After sta uh, staying inside the vibration-free elevator, we event eventually the door in front of us suddenly opened. Is it gonna be like the same area? This is the same hall, but somehow it's just... Grapes? Eventually the door in front of us opened. Suddenly opened. It appeared. We arrived at our destination. Okay, no, it's it's different. Okay. I was gonna be like, it's just gonna be the same place. <laughs> the, the, the stairs are in the right place, but the hall isn't. <laughs> and there's a statue. I guess? So, this is a grape house. No matter where I look, everything is plastered with... I mean, see, it's not plastered. They're moving. It's... it's walls don't do that. <laughs> walls don't move. <laughs> No matter where I look, everything is plastered with great patterns. It was already filled up with the strawberry patterns, but this is also fed up. I was also fed up with the strawberry patterns, but this is also unpleasant. Welcome. Okay, welcome to Grape House. Now then, allow me to explain the Grape House. Okay. Ta-da! This is Grape House in its entirety. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay. Okay, then what if I turn to the right, what is it? Anyways, like underneath the tada on this, there's a door? This is the grape house in its entirety, so let's start explaining the first floor. Aside from the fact that there is no final dead room, it's basically no different than Strawberry House. Just like there is a Strawberry Hall, or, or just like how there's a Strawberry Hall over there, there's a Grey Paul on this side. Who <sighs> gotta memorize this. Okay. And when you go through Grey Paul, that means there's a Grey Tower. The second floor of Grey Paul, Grey House is the same as the second floor of Strawberry House. I prepared five guest rooms of different types, along with a relaxing lounge. But the main attraction of Grape House is obviously the third floor. The Monokuma Archive. Oh, we only have a park. Me? I, it's the same place. I mean, maybe not. I mean, not like the same place. What I meant, like we. I assume we're allowed in both. I don't know why I felt like our class is only strawberry, but everyone or the Mar uh, the Monokuma Archive. Everyone loves the Monokuma Monokuma Archive. If you want to know about your proud my proud accomplishments and trip uh, <laughs> contributions, it's free. The feel free to study in the for free free feel free to study the literature here. Oh boy, my brain. Now then, this concludes the tour, but I believe it'd be difficult to understand if I just explain with words. So, you should all use your own two feet to check out the inside of the building. That's all from me. Any questions? Like, I'm starting to get hungry. Where's the food any- oh, I didn't even see a kitchen. Where's the food anyway? Hmm? Is that necessary? What? Are you, what are you saying? Of, cor of course it is. But it's supposed to be an escape game. How uh, how can there be any tension if there's no time limit? So I decided to use your stomachs as a time limit. Don't tell me. What do you mean? In other 
Well, simply put. <laughs> oh man, I love when the song changes to whatever is going on. Like when it's serious, and then when there's Monokuma death serious, and then ooh, I love that. And then Monokuma's music versus Monomi's music. Perfect. It means kill someone before you starve to death. What? What the heck? If you're planning to kill someone, I'd highly recommend you make your kill as soon as possible. It'll be too late if you get so weak you have no energy to kill. Hey, ho hold on. Starve. Damn it, how much more of this do we have to take until he's satisfied? Oh, I think two more chapters. Was he serious about there being no food? No way. That's the one thing I don't want. I don't mind starving as long as I can eat. Just let me eat already. As soon as she learned there is no, or there was no food, she was overcome by hunger. Obsessed with her obsession is truly annoying. But at least try to stay calm. Now is not the time for you to panic. <laughs> I couldn't read it for a second. There's, this isn't the time for you to panic. Well, being loud here isn't going to help us. So for now. We should explore the inside of this building too. After all, if we don't give or if you don't give up, you're sure to find hope. Isn't that right, Fuhiko? Huh? Yeah, that's right. right. Then let's get started. The same pairing as before is fine, right? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hold on. This time around, I really want to be paired up with Masonia. Right. She's already left with Gundam. I didn't- I didn't expect Gundam and Sonya. I think there was a few moments, but I- I didn't realize they were going to be so paired up. <laughs> but I think they, again, were paired up previously, too. It looks like you're being avoided, not just rejected. Oh, he's crying. Kazuichi, I understand that you're feeling down, but we better get going. Kana, you two, how much longer are you going to stay shocked? Come on, let's go. With heavy footsteps, everyone left to explore Grape House. Then. Now then, where should we- uh, <laughs> that's not- Now then, where should we start? Since we're on the first floor, it might be okay if we start with Grape Tower. Us? If you're saying you're going to start with the most suspicious place. Alright, then, let's start with Grape Tower. Let's start with Grape Tower. Anyways, let's find the exit. Damn it, there's no way I'm going to let myself starve to death in here. Okay, uh. Oh! Wait, yeah. Wait, where's my map? Where's my little baby? One second. <laughs> we're fine, we're fine, it's fine. It's fine. Where's my map? Yeah, what's this? Oh, that's the oh, that's the bathroom. I thought the the boy girl symbol. I thought that was the elevator. This is the elevator. Hmm. Okay. There. So there's a bathroom here as well. Regardless, I still can't shit. It's that's the only downside to this body. The only downside. Your optimism is praiseworthy. Okay. Um. Okay. Why is there giant grapes? Like, you see, like, why? Why is there. See, this. Why is it. A first. Why is there a turn around? That's very funny to me. If I go to the. I'm oh, sorry. If I go to the center, will it turn? No. Okay. Like, why? Why is there so much area here? For nothing. So odd. You could have made the thing. At oh wait, is it because of pre like above? Is it the same? Sh like, what? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Anyways, what is this muscular bronze statue? It's probably an ornament, but it doesn't fit the ambiance at all. And there's a name written on here. Ogre. Does that mean this is a statue of an ogre? Why is it wearing a sailor uniform? 
Okay, is it gonna be something to do with Sakura? Is that why I shouldn't have looked her- like, shouldn't look people up? Is she gonna be here? What's going on? Why is there a giant statue of her? What's going on? <laughs> what- is it gonna be important? Oh boy, my brain. Too much new information. Okay. Look at that statue. I'm starting to feel a little excited. But why is there a statue like that in a place like this? Wait, is this creature inside this building? I don't think so. It's probably in the hall just to garnish it. Garnish? You mean like a food garnish? Is this food? Is it tasty? It's, it's not food, it's just decoration. Star uh, starving us, see, I love the starving us, like, seems pretty straightforward for Monokuma. The piece of shit, how dare he pull such a dirty trick as villains on, on citizen. <laughs> <gasps> Brain, okay, please, please start working. I thought I'd investigate everything and end it for that night, but oh boy. How dare you pull such a dirty trick on civilians? I mean, if y'all just start dying from hunger, I mean, I guess this one isn't being broadcast despite being surveyed. That's sad. I keep thinking it's being broadcast. We're gonna be like, it'd be boring as hell. You know, hunger games that. Grape house, huh? This place was has terrible taste as well. This hallway isn't as dark. Oh wait, oh my baby. <gasps> oh, it's puking. <laughs> Did it do that last time? Did it puke it up last time too? I don't know. <sighs> it wants to give me something. It's a thing of shit. Okay, it gave me Monoguma coins. A tissue and I forgot what else. Halfway there. Oh, halfway- wait, halfway there? So I need two more. To evolve? Is that what it's saying? Okay, I can't give it a present. It's just a little baby. So, I hope it's- Oh, I don't know how to get- Does it- is the despair there for the rest of the game? Is my poor baby full of despair forever? Ugh. Grape Tower is beyond this door, right? Just like a strawberry hall, I only need to press this button. Alright, leave it to me. Monokuma raises his voice and hopes that, uh, okay, okay, it does. I w thought it was going to when the, my little poo baby left. I thought it would reset. And then when it didn't, I got worried. So anyways, um... Halfway there. I wonder what you get if- 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 the, because that only happened when it hatched. So I'm assuming if you get four grown and- grown and leaves, I wonder what you get from it. I- but it doesn't change the story, but I wonder what you get out of it. Uh, Nikamara raised his voice and vigorously slammed the button more times than he needed to. It's not opening. Oh, that's weird. When we were in Strawberry Hall, it, it should have opened. Don't tell me it's out of order. Fine, er, find time for it to, to blah, 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 blah. find time for it to break down. Well, it obviously shouldn't. Go on. Did you hear something? And that's when Nekamaru started shouting. Ooh. The door opened. And well, what was that pause just now? Why didn't the door open right away? I, see. I don't know. <laughs> so, this is Grape Tower. The structure of this building doesn't seem all that different compared to the Strawberry Tower. Yeah, you're right. The building is the same circular shape, and the ceiling is just as high and hard to make out. However, this wall is green. Strawberry Tower's wall is red. Yeah, that, the whole building's like that, sweetheart. Well, speaking of difference, there's something blatantly different over there. The, the, 
the door that clearly is to the other place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. There's a picture of the f on the floor of Asami's face with the grapes in her mouth. It feels different from Strawberry Tower. The Asami picture over there had a strawberry in her mouth. And it's true. So like, they're, they're really hammering that point home. So, but what's truly different? The, the grapes and the strawberries, I assume, are the difference. I, it's really, I don't understand why we're... We're really pointing out things here, and I don't know why. On the Grape Tower f uh, door on the far back, there's a strawberry image on there. A strawberry door inside Grape Tower. That sounds complicated. No, it's... <laughs> I, have, I can't wait until I'm wrong. It, <laughs> I can only imagine I'm wrong because they're being so obvious about it, but... If it really is, it opens up to Strawberry Tower through the Strawberry Door and on the opposite side is a grape to then lead to the Grape Tower would be very funny. Because those two doors, it has handles and our door doesn't have a handle. It's like the opposite of Strawberry Tower. As I recall, there should have been a grape image on the far door. Or what? There should have. Yeah, I guess should have. It's, it's weird. Anyways, <laughs> as I recall, there should have been a grape image on the far back door of Strawberry Tower. So, on the strawberry side, there's a grape door, and on the grape side, a strawberry door. It's even more complicated. However, this time. This door might connect to the outside. This one doesn't have a door image on it though. It's obvious by looking at this map, since there's something beyond the far back door. There's nothing beyond. There's nothing beyond the far back door of. Str there is no door on it though. Door of the grape house. Reading. If so, the only thing we can do is try it. Hold it. Hold it. I heard what you guys were discussing, but it'd be pointless to even try, I think. What? what did you say? Before we get to that, before we get to that, why are you er, oh no, that's still me. Before we get to that, why are you here, Jackie? What, well, wouldn't, er, weren't you with Nagito and... Kazuichi. God, my brain. Okay. Okay. Whew. Reading comprehension is gone today. I mean, it is gone most days, but... You know. It's exhausting to be around those two. So, you ran away? I was like, where's my thingy? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's talk to Chucky first. Chalky is very pale. The door doesn't lead outside. I think it's pointless to even try it out. Definitely. Definitely, you say? She never said definitely before. It's rare for Chalky to be that certain. Yep. I have a good reason for that. I think I found out the secret to the funhouse structure. The secret of the structure? You want me to tell you? Do you want me to explain it to you? Well, pay close attention- Oh god, okay, okay, okay. Close attention. <laughs> well, pay close attention to each house's relationship to its prospective tower. Okay, okay. Ooh. Ooh. So, that's a seer that immediately gets figured out is kind of odd. But, okay. First, Try to remember the first floor of Strawberry House. From that elevator, Strawberry Hall is to your left hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up at Strawberry Tower, right? On the other hand, Grape House. 
from the elevator, Grey Paul is to your right hand side, right? And if you walk along it, you'll end up at Grape Tower, right? Okay, yeah. Seems fair. Seems... yeah. Now, here comes the main point. With those two buildings... Whoa! Oh, okay. So, you were here all along? Hey, hey. hey Chucky, don't go, go running off on your own. Hey. You disappeared so suddenly. I was worried about you. Kazuichi, Nagito. Ooh. Thanks to your disappearance, I was left alone with Nagito. Man. Uh, was that annoying for you? Oh right. yeah, it was. I don't want to be left alone with a creep like you. This is I see. So, it's not just Hajime. You don't trust me either, huh, Kazuichi? Hey, hey are you okay? Have you stopped trusting other humans? Well, yeah, thanks to you, bastard. Oh, everyone's here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, you all came? Good timing. We didn't have to waste any time gathering people. That was quick. I thought your investigation would take more time. There weren't many areas to search. We didn't find any good clues. Okay, I definitely need to search this all, though. So, if we could not have a little get-together right now. I kind of wanted to search every room. Right now, the only thing I found out is... There's, ser there's seriously no food anywhere. This ain't funny at all. I... I heard that this is a super... or er, that's a super painful way to... er, uh, super painful to die from starvation. Before that happens, why don't we, you know, the hamsters that Gundam carries around? Ah, I'm in the brain. You imbecile! What are you implying? I'm- I'm sorry. Kazuichi, you should be grateful to Sonia. If you have gotten your hands on my four dark devils of destruction, your body would have been incinerated by hellfire. Hey, hey. But, are the hamsters going to be okay without food? Fortunately, the flowers blooming in Strawberry House's Indoor Park are uh, cursed flowers from Hell's Garden. Well, I thought they were beautiful. So, that's cool. Also, there's gardens in Hell. I mean, that's pretty cool. As long as those seeds are there, the four dark devils of destruction shall not lose a single hit point. Hit point. Now, I'm just thinking about a game with them. Um, as your main little characters, that'll have little hit points in your design paint, you know, like a little cute little pixelated thing. But also, I think I have, if I still have all my gifts, I think I got sunflower seeds, so... I think they would be okay. I mean, like, I would just give them to them. I want to befriend just the hamsters. I'm kidding, I would befriend Gundam. I am relieved to hear that. Now then. Let's listen to your reports and see what you guys have found. Personally, I rather let I rather let Chucky continue her talk, but oh well. I should listen to what everyone has to say. Now then. Is it or er, is it fine if Gundam, Fuhiko, and I present our tea and and I? Yeah, okay, that's not the tea. The, 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 why you three? It doesn't why? Okay, sure. I, I can represent the teams. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I, it was such a weird thing throwing those two names in the ring. But okay. Is it fine if Gundam, Fujiko, and I represent our teams to give her and give her the reports? Damn right. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> I rejoice, Ma, 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 Ma I've discovered something that you fiends will be happy to hear about. Of course. Yes, our team's discovery is number one. We should well, not lose. I think their priorities are off slightly. Okay, so we can talk to everyone. Cool. We shall go. Um, we should. Blah, 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 blah. We should first listen to the reports that the others have gathered. Yeah, but I don't Damn want to. Right. I'm sure the others already know, but let me tell you just in case. 
second floor of Grape House also has guest rooms similar to the ones in the second floor of Strawberry House. But instead of being covered with the sh I clicked him because I thought he wasn't the team leader. I don't know why I didn't think that. He literally just said and his teammate was Akane, so... But instead of being covered with strawberry patterns, they're covered with grape patterns. Also, also like the guest rooms, there's a similar lounge here as well. There's also a phone in the lounge too. However, instead- Oh, it's the same image. Why? What's the portrait? Why is it- Why is it so high up? Anyways, however, instead of a grape button, um, that was on the phone in Strawberry House Lounge, there's a strawberry button on the phone in the Grapes House Lounge. Okay. Now, I'm just guessing at this point, but it's possible that we can use those, those two phones to communicate with each other. Sure. So, the picture on the button shows which other phone- what- the, which- which each phone connects to. The picture of the button shows where the phones connect to. That's probably it. Okay. Lies. This isn't funny at all. There's seriously no food anywhere. Mm. Instead of talking about food all the time, how about you try to find the exit? Exit? Is, is that tasty? Oh this chick, even the inside of her head is full of drool. Uh, who else? You're not the number okay. one. Our team discovery is number one. We shall not lose. Hurry up and ask Gundam about it. What does Sonya think these reports are supposed to be about? Chaki, when I realized she suddenly disappeared, I couldn't believe she went to you of all people. I know everyone's gathered here all of a sudden. What's going on? You better not say I lured everyone here. Well, it's not like that. But you look like you already knew this place was important, so you were totally casing this area. So when somebody is suspicious of me, yeah, since once, so once somebody is suspicious of me, anything I do will look suspicious to them, huh? What should I do? Mm, he's number one of Chiaki's. So I think I can talk to Chiaki. Oh, okay. Everyone else's everyone's report is important too. I should get to the, 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 the. I should get those over with first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now then, I shall present to you my discovery. I wouldn't let you say much nonsense like I forgot. Monokuma said it himself before we arrived here. He said there were ship parts in the funhouse. Oh, I forgot about that. It was in the funhouse. It was- all of the stuff was in the funhouse. I forgot I said it earlier when I first started streaming, but I forgot. <laughs> yes, where are they? It could it be? Kazuichi, you lowly humans. Fall to your knees and show your gratitude to me. The overload of ice of- of ice of the destroyed world of death. Feast your eyes on this. What is it? Besides the cute little hamster. I look at it. Oh my goodness. Behold, a motor. It's a ship part. Based on its extremely small size, isn't that... It's just a radio-controlled toy. Allow me to tell you a little, a little old story. I was born as a result of a union between a human and a demon. And my existence. Oh, what's that called? Is that? Is that called something? No. Is that just what's going to make the Antichrist? Is that what that is? Is that what I'm thinking of? I don't remember what's actual Christianity anymore. And what was mythical. Well. Oof, mystical. Myth. Myth. Mythical Christianity. You know, played up on. Anyways. Oh, between a human and a demon, and my existence was shunned by both races. Perhaps it's because no one has ever brought me a toy before, but I believe this is entirely remarkable. Oh, he just wants toys. I'll get- 
I will get you a toy Gundam. We can play some Legos. I I love a good Lego. We got Legos. We can get some dolls. You know, GI Joes. But I don't think you would like guns. I personally, we tip my GI Joes were the dads to my Barbies. So like we would have Barbies, and then we'd have the teenage Barbies, and then the kid Barbies, and the GI Joes were the shorter, muscular men husbands of the Barbies like partner you know what I'm saying like we did not have a Ken doll in this house we only had G.I. Joe's and Barbies and then the kids just saying well we also had brats but those weren't part of the families because they were clearly a different species anyways <laughs> I'm not asking about that I mean the ship part you found was just some radio controlled toy Loser. you totally got tricked I never said a single word about this ship being real, stupid, idiot, moron. Maybe it doesn't have a name. I, again, I can't remember. Because I know, um... An angel and a human, they make... But again, I can't remember if those are real words I'm thinking of. I can't remember what the word was for that either. I, can't rem I don't remember if those are real. Or if those are words that were used in media that had angels, demons, and humans. <laughs> that those certain words, certain titles are real or not. Probably not. I don't think... The problem is, hear, hear me out, people are like, oh, you must know the Bible through going to church twice a week for your first 16 years of life. And I'm like, uh, no, we got taught the three, three same stories over and over again. That's it. We're done. Those were all the stories we had. We're done. <laughs> Mainly, I learned homophobia, which is <laughs> was great. By learned homophobia, I meant I suffered from people. Yeah. My church wasn't good. Anyways, so, uh, I don't actually know a lot of the Bible. Not a lot of the stories. Not a lot of anything. It was, again, the same stories just repeated over and over again. So I have no idea what's real. And then also, the Christianity Bible is, I mean, filtered down so much compared to the non-translated original it's like thick like you go to school for it for years like even if you're not christian uh you can study like the history of the bible um i get typically it's christians but i don't remember what that's called but uh you can study the history of the bible but obviously it's translated a lot and blah blah and just really filtered down anyways so i do i don't i do wonder but i don't know if a demon human slash angel human slash Demon angel, huh? What those would be called, or if they were actually called anything, or if I'm just thinking about again d different media. <laughs> looks like we don't even. Uh, looks like we don't even have the strength to get upset. Mm. It might be better if we leave him alone for a while. So it was definitely a waste of time to believe Monokuma. If so, what he said about our students' profiles might be a lie too. But our situation is getting so grim that I can't really focus on that right now. Mm, who did I not talk to yet? I think it was just you. No. Allow me to give you a brief report. Since I'm the one who made this discovery, it's just as important as I am. Which means it's not that important at all. Hey, Just hurry up and say it already. Um, well, it's about the third floor of Grape House. Okay. I don't know why I'm like, oh, we're gonna see it? No. Do you remember what Monokuma said about a Monokuma archive on the third floor? I actually tried to go up there. Oh, we will see it! Oh, it's... Oh. Ooh, what, what's in the... Keys, what's in this? Ooh, what is this? Uh -huh. <laughs> you can't see it. Okay, can't move. Like the name suggests, it was an archive full of stuff about Monokuma. It reminded me 
of the celebrities who built their memorial house in their hometown. Do people do that? <laughs> do celebrities do that? Then, I mean, alive celebrities. I mean, I know there's like preserved houses of people, but I didn't realize there was. You, the way he said it made it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> then, or then, it looks like we don't ever need to go there, ever. Um, also, I found a lost child at the Monokuma Archive. A child? What? Huh? Where did she go? Hey! Hey, don't just hide, come on out. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't understand, she's like a teacher, but she's also a child? Am I supposed to think of her younger than us, or older than us? You know? <laughs> Hello. So the lost child was you. Right? right? That's how people react, right? Well, I have a pretty general idea of how you all would react. It's okay. I won't be depressed anymore. I'm used to being treated so poorly. Is the whole chapter going to be in this house? I'm assuming it's going to be the murder and then the investigation. Everything's in here. Hee <laughs> hee. How sad. I'm so sad to die. It's so sad to get used to it. She seems a little tense. Did Monokuma bring you here as well, Monami? Yes, I'm ashamed of myself for getting carelessly tricked by him. I'm a failure as a teacher. I have no right to guide anyone. No one here considers you a teacher to begin with. But I'm honestly happy that you're here. Huh? Hey, are, are you a completely stuffed animal? Is there any part of you left that's still rabbit meat? No. I'm expected to be food? Hey, hey. Mm. I love when like there's a little Monokuma or Monami just standing next to them because it just shows that like they're like knee height. Um, that was the last report, right? Then is it okay if I go now? This is what you mentioned earlier, right? About the structure of the funhouse? The structure of the funhouse? Well? well, I've came to a conclusion. The grape tower that we've... We're... Blah, 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 blah. The grape tower that we're in currently, and the strawberry tower we were in earlier. I think they're actually the same building. The two towers. Are the same building, you say? Two towers. What's... What's, uh... Is it just Lord of the Ring, the Two Towers? Is there more to that title? I don't remember. The Two Towers are the same building, you say? <laughs> I see. What makes you think that? See? Their positions. Well? Inside Strawberry House, the Strawberry Hall is on your left, when your back is facing the elevator, right? Nope, that's the title. Man, I'm so good. You guys can't see it, but I'm looking up at, um, posters we got from the midnight showing of The Hobbit. So, as you can tell, I'm not actually a Lord of the Rings fan at all. Um, don't look at my sword from the movie either. Don't look at that. Don't. Just pretend I know everything there is. I just don't got knowledge. I don't have memory. It's all booked. Inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left, when your back is facing the elevator right. But inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your right, when your back is facing the elevator right. So when you think about it, put those two together. And the two towers... When we turn around in the tower, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the other side of that door? Does this make sense? The two towers are the same building, and each house connects to the center. That's the building structure that comes to mind. Yeah, when we went to see the the Hobbit um, movie, I don't remember which one. 
Whichever one came out on December 1st. That one. Um, <laughs> I went to see it with, um, my two siblings and my aunt. And we're like, hey, um, do you want to come to a movie with us to my aunt? And she has kids that were and are still in high school. And I think at that point, maybe middle school as well. Um, but either way, I had kids. <laughs> and, uh, you know, like, do you want to come? Uh, but it's at midnight. And she came and she was like, are you sure you didn't mean to text the wrong, like, did you text the wrong person? Did you mean to text someone else? And we're like, no, we wanted to invite you. And she's like, oh, why are you inviting your aunt to a midnight showing? And we're like, dude, we love you. I mean, like, we know you like The Hobbit. She was into it when she was younger, like the books. So we invited her and she was so excited. She's like, oh, yeah, I can't wait. And she gets in there and she watches it and she talks about it and she was really into it. And, um, but what happened is, after we were done, she's driving home, because we decided to go in my car, she's driving home, and she just goes, I'm so happy I went, even so I have to get up um, at 6 in the morning. And I'm like, girl, that's in three hours. This is a three hour long movie or something. And at the midnight showing, meaning it's three in the morning, you have to get up and go somewhere at six in the morning. And I'm just like, oh. So anyways, but it was great, because she had an absolutely fun time. And it was totally worth it. <laughs> but, uh, oh man. I loved going to midnight showings of things. But now everything's like, oh, it only releases in theaters. And I'm like, cool, I'm not getting COVID. So we're, we're good. I'm not, I'm not going into a closed room with people. Thank you. What? Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are the same building? I have not been to a midnight showing in a while. Yeah. I, what's the last midnight showing I went to? I don't even remember. Oh, what, like you're talking a Harry Potter movie a while ago. Oh man, I went probably we we would go to a lot of them just because we are night people. We're always been night people. So uh, my siblings and I we went to Marvel movies, Pirates of the Caribbean ones. Um, Harry Potter was a little bit. Uh, well, I grew up with a really Christian mother. She didn't believe Harry Potter was a good influence. So my sibling actually snuckily bought Harry Potter books when we were um, growing up because my mom wouldn't allow them in the house. <laughs> so we didn't really get to go to the movies for that. Um, so I watched those at, ha at home. Um, I remember, I think I watched the second one first which was horrifying because I'm like, giant snake, yay! And then I'm like, ah, and then it was very spooky. The set, like, later on, they're not, to me, as spooky. The second one is, like, very spooky. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah. Oh, I think we went to the Hunger Games, too. Like, we went to the Hunger Games for a midnight showing, I think. The problem is the midnight showing got bumped up to a Thursday showing, which is, like, it's the same day, but it's on Thursday afternoon. And I'm like, that's not how that worked. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, it was, I remember going to, it was, we had a movie theater and there was a really big screen that only is used sometimes because it's on the second floor of the building and I forget every single time we go there that there is a second floor of the building because it's never used for some reason. Um, and we went there and I just remember it was me, my sibling, and my sibling, but on my other side of me, there was a lady who kept trying to kiss her boyfriend and, like, really make out with him, but he was just like, girl, I'm watching my, my Hunger Games movie right now, and it was the first one, and he was, like, so excited. He was, like, full-on, like, girl, don't, and she was like, but I thought, we, you know, maybe we can, and he's just like, do you, like, this, this, like, he was so uninterested in his girlfriend because the Hunger Games movie was playing. It was so funny to me. Um, they kissed, like, during, like, the previews of other movies, but once it was, like, starting, like, the lights dimmed, he was like, get off me. I'm watching. And it was so funny to me <laughs> because she did not realize how into it he was. And she got, she got used to it. She stopped. Um, but it was just so funny because I guess that is not what she expected. And I was just sitting there with my, like, popcorn, and I just had to be like, this is really, really awkward sitting right next to that. So I'm glad it stopped because it was a lot. Anyways, my uh, my sibling cried when um, 
Like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's not new. So I'm just going to say it. When Rue died, she sobbed. She was full on crying. She was, oh, she was a mess. <laughs> yeah, like, it's, it was just awkward. I'm just sitting there. And this was years and years ago. So I was kind of young and I was just having my popcorn and I didn't know what to do. So I kind of like turned away from them because I didn't want to be like, there but the screen was this way so I wanted to look at the screen but they were also then in my peripheral just full on just, ugh. Ugh. anyways I'm glad that stopped <laughs> but besides that I don't know what midnight showing we saw again we went to some Thursday night showings which were like the first showing of the movie anyways <laughs> but yes I love awkward movie stories though <laughs> You, Denver Nuggets could be completely fake. I, I love it. I read that and I go, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, ah, yeah. Is he did not know? Okay, basketball game. Uh, it's like a dance party that happens to have an NBA game in the center. Okay, I did not know that didn't even know what they were <laughs> okay but that might be there the, 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 but that might be a possibility I'm still like I'm, I'm looking I'm waiting till there it is there is a couple and the girl would cheer all uh would cheer all the shots made regardless who scored oh okay okay we got a little party going on <laughs> That was a very long night for her date. Yeah. Yeah, there was, um, I was overseas and this one bar had, um, free shots or guys would give shots to this one woman, but apparently she would make out with them and she would have, instead of, um, a shot and then salt, she had it with wasabi and I'm like, that wouldn't even taste good but go off I guess but then she would make out with guys but they didn't realize she just ate wasabi so their mouth would just start to burn and obviously she was so drunk she couldn't taste it anymore but apparently it was a very funny situation for this person I didn't watch my friend was telling me all about it it was a very funny situation to watch guys just clearly just get their mouth and their sinuses on fire when this girl just started making out with them Anyways, come on, take a look at that door. Isn't that the strawberry image to this, er, uh, image the same one that's on the elevator in the telephone? Then, in the same way, wouldn't that image on the door also be showing where it leads to? If that's the case, it would mean that the strawberry house is beyond that door with the strawberry image on it. As well, as the opposite, or yeah, brain. As well as the opposite, the grape door that was at the strawberry tower would lead to the grape house. Meaning, we open the grape Paul's door, we can come in here. Meaning, depending on that door we use, this tower changes to either strawberry tower or grape tower. Which means, when we look at the other side of the Great Paul door, that, er, other side of the Great Paul door that we use to come in here. Yep. yep, the strawberry pitcher should absolutely be on here. Hey. Then, we all gotta do is confirm it, right? If we can close that door from the other side, mm. that might be impossible. Impossible? Why? Well, Hajime and Nakamura were the first ones to enter the Grape Tower, right? What's wrong with that? Then, you two entered Grape Tower from Grape Hall. Didn't it take a little while for the door to open after you pressed the button? Huh? So, just as I assumed. How... how'd you know? 
when I was walking around by myself, I went back to the strawberry house. You had time to go back to the strawberry house? We just walked in here and just went straight to the back the door. How did you have time to go back to the other house? I felt like there was still something I missed when suddenly the strawberry whore, whore, ugh, whore, <laughs> strawberry house hall door automatically closed in front of me. The door automatically closed? Yep. And afterwards, no matter how much I pressed the button, the strawberry hall door wouldn't open. Um, but why? The door to strawberry tower and grape tower must be designed so that only one of them can open at a time. Break the door. Break it. <laughs> I mean, if both doors open at the same time, we'd easily find out that both towers are the same building. If that happens, wouldn't- Oh, sorry, I was just distracted for a second. Woo. <laughs> because I'm like, blah, 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 blah. Logic. <laughs> but my brain got distracted trying to figure out logic. It did not. Oh, I can understand those- th Okay, so those four are the grape statues, and that- Flower is the top of the strawberry. I understand. Okay. If that happens, it wouldn't be a fun house anymore, right? Then the reason the strawberry hall door automatically closed in front of you so what I mean is... is it because we opened the grape hall door? Yep. That wasn't his voice. You mean it's because we opened the grape hall door? <laughs> then that when that happened. There's less people, yet I feel like I'm screwing up more. Okay. When that happened, the grape, grape hall door didn't open because it was waiting for Strawberry Hall's door to close. If you think about it, it's like that. It makes sense, right? When you think about it like that, it makes sense, right? Like, you're saying all this hard stuff I don't get, but aren't you forgetting the most basic problem? The color of the walls in Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower are totally different. That doesn't say totally, but I'm sticking with it, you know? There's no way they're the same building. I don't know. You didn't notice? They're all just lights on the floor. I didn't. I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was just game. <laughs> okay. Didn't you notice? They're just lights on the floor being shined at the wall. They reflect, and I would cover those suckers up so much. Oh my, I could not survive with the walls being the strawberries and the and the grapes. I was going to say bananas. There's no bananas in this. <laughs> Maybe I want a banana. Anyways, lighting up. You know what's really good that people apparently don't do is with a mango, especially an overripe mango. That's like really, really sweet. You put a little bit of um, spicy flakes on it. I can't remember. Spicy flakes on it. Delicious. It is amazing and I do it and every time because for me perfect mango is it's hard, perfect, and then it's oversweet. But the oversweet is not a problem if you put a little spicy to it and somehow it like really cancels each other out and it's perfect. It tastes amazing. Love it. Anyways, apparently people don't do that because I'm like trying to find it and the spices, whatever, I can't remember what it is. Spices, <laughs> the flakes, and I'm like, I'm gonna get spicy flakes to put on my mangoes. People are like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, spicy flakes for your mangoes. So they're good <laughs> and not overly sweet because if I couldn't eat a whole mango if it's overly sweet. But maybe that's just me. <laughs> I love mangoes. Anyways, love them. Anyways, <laughs> by reflecting a colored light onto the white wall, makes it look like the wall changed color. Wall color changed has changed. Wow, brain. Whew. Then, what about the picture on the floor? Is it is that different too? Maybe the floor is just a screen, and the picture is being projected from beneath the floor. That would be terrifying. In fact. When you look at it dr or closely, it's not a picture that are actually drawn on the floor. I got it. Oh, I see. Then it's safe to say there. Why would the floor be a screen if it, if it if it if it can be thin enough to see a light through it? It would be way better if it's coming from the ceiling onto the white floor. 
Oh, we can't see the ceiling. It would be so better. Like, the floor is so thin you can see a light from underneath it. <laughs> but yes, chili mango is great. <laughs> oh, I see. Then it's safe to say they're the same building, right? But this is a very important problem. So, isn't it better if we test it out? Test? Okay, so this is going to be wrong somehow. This is way too much explanation, but I sh or it is very important explanation to the murder that's going to happen, or both. So I gotta focus, <laughs> but I cannot move my brain. I'm going to forget all of this. Anyways, luckily the game is very forgiving. After you die a few times. <laughs> For example, we should leave something behind here, and we'll all go to the Strawberry Tower. Right. And, if it's still there, we conclude that they're the same building, right? Why would he... Okay. Oops. Uh, sorry. My mom just texted saying she gave the dogs meds, but we already gave him the meds, so now he got a med an hour and a half in between each other, which he's not supposed to do. But it's fine, because it's really hard to overdose on that medicine, but it's not what we we're supposed to do. Anyways, and if that's still there, we conclude that they're the same building, right? Want me to stay then? No, it's impossible. There's a sensor preventing that. Huh? Sensors? Don't you feel it? There are countless sensors plastered all over the tower's walls and floors. Why can't you notice them? I'm more surprised that you actually notice them. My guess is that the sensor can probably detect any movement within the tower. And then it reacts, it prevents the door from opening. I know there'd be at least uh, there'd at least be something like that. By the way, how good is that sensor performance? It's quite high performance. It seems that it can actually detect your heartbeats and breathing patterns. Then it's completely impossible for someone to stay behind. What about Nekamaro? He's a heartless robot. I have a... I have a motor running inside me. It's as good as any human heart. But if you're in sleep mode, that function will come to a stop too, right? You mean if my computer is still asleep? I guess if the computer is asleep, is something actually moving? I don't know. I actually don't know enough about computers, so actually I'm going to keep my mouth shut on that one. Like, I, like you said, if I see soul functions with sleep mode, the sensor won't detect it, but do you, er, do you need to go that far to test it? I won't tolerate any robo, robo prejudice. Sorry, you're right. And once I enter sleep mode, I will not regain consciousness until the good night switch is pressed again, or if my chest alarm goes off. I'm a little concerned about being left alone in that state. Okay, so this is definitely going to be a thing. Okay. <laughs> it is far too dangerous. Even as an example, it is possible that we might violate the laws of robotics. I don't know what it is. Uh, oh boy. Anyway, sorry. Still thinking about the text. Hey, hey. Then, why don't we just use this? My student handbook. Oh yeah. I was like, I forgot we had those. I was like, well, you check it all the time. Nope, well, that's not that. My bad. You check it all the time. I mean, has the map. Like, this is the this is the handbook. <laughs> this is the handbook that I just said I forgot existed. I'll leave this handbook here, and we'll all move over to the Strawberry Tower. And if by any chance the handbook is still there, we can safely say that the two towers are the same, right? Right. Let's try this. We left behind Chalky's e-handbook right away. Then we left Grape Tower and made our way to Strawberry Tower. This is a long explanation. You know what? I might leave it here. Because I can talk to all these guys right now. And it is late. And I gotta handle all my plants. I have so many plants I need to water and take care of. How are you doing? Oh, you're still a little egg. I forgot. <laughs> oh, but look! No hope, no despair. 
You are born anew. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, I got to... Well, actually, I don't have an appointment tomorrow. Ooh, you have a new stream tomorrow? Awesome. Because I was just saying that I have to actually go somewhere tomorrow, which is a lie because it is, um, it was all sorts of hectic, hec hectic here. <laughs> wow, my voice. All sorts of hectic here, so I, um, can't go out because the office is closed for my doctor because it's so snowy and everything here. Also, my car got totaled and my roof because a tree fell. So that's also fun and dandy. Oh boy. Anyway, uh, so I'm excited to see your stream tomorrow. So, yeah, it, it, luckily it, it's fine. Uh, insurance is going to cover all of it, or almost all of it, pretty much. Um, but luckily, because work is canceled as well as my office is, or my doctor's office is canceled, luckily the car problem actually isn't a problem, um, which I'm very glad about because. Oh boy. So anyways, completely shook the house and woke up <laughs> to it happening. Um, and then running outside and seeing it just completely just... I, the tree was on both me and my, my family has two cars. And it was on both cars. And uh, we thought both were destroyed. But only one was destroyed because we just trimmed a bunch of branches and it didn't break the other car at all. It's totally fine. Which is great. So luckily, if, if need be, we have a car. But the car that I, because we have mult, we have double the people, more than double the people in this family, than the cars. So luckily, only having a car has not been a hindrance because school is canceled, or work is canceled for my sibling, and my doctor is canceled because of the, the snow and the weather, and oh boy. So I'm excited to see, to stay home and actually be able to watch your stream then, hopefully. Hopefully. I'm saying hopefully because just in case something comes up because as always something comes up <laughs> life you know how it goes anyways thank you for being here always fun so much information this time I will not remember any of it I did not realize it. the fun house is going to be the whole episode I thought we'd go in and it'd be the motive I didn't realize we're stuck here now yeah Anyways, I'm going to lose. <laughs>